actor and Trump supporter Scott Baio says that Donald Trump is the only candidate, you heard him give a shout out to Senator Cruz as well, but who could take on terrorists. Baio among the growing list of celebrities throwing his support behind Donald Trump. So he may be rare in Hollywood. He's not alone though. Kid Rock, John Voight, Willie Robertson all share his opinion on what is best for America. Robert Davi is in good company. Actor, singer, he is with me now. Robert, welcome back to the program. Why is Trump best suited, in your view, even more capable than, say, Senator Cruz or Ohio Governor John Kasich? Well, thank you for having me, Deirdre. Well, first off, you need a, a strong leader right now. We have a Congress and a Senate and an executive branch that have tiptoed around the biggest issue facing our lifetimes, immigration and radical Islam. None of them have put forward, and they've had the opportunity. If I was Speaker of the House, if I was in the Senate, rest assured I'd be speaking up against immigration and radical Islam. I'd find out solutions. Deidre, I, you know, and Trump has now framed this whole dialogue for the world. Over in Europe, I've been in Europe many times now performing. They're talking about Trump over there. There's a whole contingency of people worried about the immigrants and the migrants that have infiltrated Europe and exactly who or who they may not be. We have a failure in our presidency to face this issue. Next week, he has the president of Turkey coming to open the biggest mosque in America. I've written an article right after al-Sisi, the president of Egypt, has called for the reformation of Islam. This was over a year ago. Yeah, some people Why say the, the president Egyptian of president the United is stronger on this than President Obama. Yes. It sounds like that's what you think. Well, it's not just the Egyptian Well, it's not just the Egyptian president. What he called for was a reformation. Why doesn't Obama call a summit like he did for climate change to define what Islam is in the 21st century? This is what we need. This is the kind of big thinking that we need. And I think Trump provides that kind of thinking. We need to be able to sit at a table with clerics, imams, and say, what is Islam in the 21st century? There are reformed groups of Islam, believe it or not, that have 200 million people that have extracted some of the elements from Islam that have uh, been uh, uh, perpetrated by, by uh, Sayyid Khattab and his, uh, in the shade of the Quran, which has caused the radical element of it. The other aspect to this, and I've been on the Homeland Security Policy Institute at George Washington University since 2002. I've talked to every Homeland Security uh, uh, head from Tom Ridge, uh, to not the current, but prior to this, asking for Civilian Patrol 93 in honor of Flight 93, whereby the American populace is fed information. Uh, it's a more extended neighborhood watch. We need to be vigilant. We need to have the community involved to find out who our neighbors are. That woman in San Diego that was afraid to say, because of political correctness, she was afraid to say, I see something untoward. If people were trained in the Civilian Patrol 93 kind of awareness that I brought to the Bush administration, I brought to uh, the last eight years, the critical... We're talking about our critical infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We know that our critical infrastructure and soft targets, we know there's a danger there. Nuclear power plant in, in Brussels. Right. No, Trump was the first one that said Brussels is a hotbed. I mean, you know, well, so you, we need a used, president that's uh, going to be vigilant on this issue. What some took to be more offensive language, but I hear what you're saying. He's addressing the issues where they need to be addressed. Robert, we're very glad you spent some time in D.C. It's good to know. Robert Davi actor and Trump supporter and contributing to big thinking on how to fight terrorism.